Namaste. Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we've had a lot of new subscribers and a lot of new comments. And so we want to give a little bit more information about our family and our channel and why we started it. And um, especially after we were broken hearted about the VN Beatables. And, uh, you know, we posted some videos before the announcement and um, we had some not so nice comments. So we just wanted to clarify a few things about our family. My husband is from India. Anjali, Jaden, and Noah are all half Indian. And part of the reason we started this channel was to connect them with India, to connect them with their roots, to make our family a part of your family in India. And that was our main goal in this. You know, we've been doing this now for what, four months? We've learned really? so much about India. Yes, it's been actually not even, just a little bit over three months. And we've learned a lot about India and there's so much more for us to learn and do between festivals and Chandrian and, you know, all these things that we've learned about. And it's just been an amazing adventure. But we are not making money off of this. We are not making any money off of this right now. This is us just connecting and, and trying to build our channel. So thank you for those who have subscribed, who've been with us since we had 100 subscribers. And please keep sharing. But this right now is just us trying to learn about India, connect the children, and, and kind of be a part of India even though we're living in the U.S. And, um, you know, we spend a lot of time especially now summer's over. My husband works. Yeah. I'm back to work. The kids are back to school. And then we're trying to do videos, respond to comments. And it takes a lot of time. But we do it for you guys. Like we do it because we enjoy it. We do it because we know it makes you happy. And it helps us connect and learn more. Yeah. So we're not just doing, you know, stupid reactions. We are doing this because we enjoy it and maybe you know down the road one day it will make us some money and I can actually do this for my job instead of having two jobs right now actually mom job my teacher job my YouTube channel job so three jobs I mean but this is really something we want to do and you know to hear some of these comments that were made about the unbeatables and our reaction to it um, was a little bit heartbroken. So they deserve to win. There was no doubt in our mind at all. We tried to put these videos out before the results because we wanted to throw our support out there. We've supported them from the beginning. We have voted on our phones every single time there was an open vote that we could from every phone, from every email that we could. And I, you know, put it out there on social media. So as much as we could, we supported them and we wanted them to win so yeah. badly, so badly. They deserved it. And, you know, it's one of those things like we know there was many reasons behind it. And not all is perfect. You know, some of the comments were it's about race. And yeah, I mean, our family is mixed. My husband gets more of it than we do. But being together, we get a lot of not only looks from people, but people will say stuff. He'll get stopped by the police more than I would by myself. And, um, you know, not always treated equally. And he's had it from both sides. He's had it from dark-skinned people. He's had it from white people. It doesn't matter. It's out there. And it's not a perfect world. It's better. It's a lot better than it was. But it is not a perfect world, unfortunately. So race did play a part in that, I'm sure of it. And America's Got Talent has never had a group win before. So when we did our analysis, like we were like, oh, crap. So that's a huge thing. They're, they were on point. Everything yeah. they did, not only was it dangerous, 
They had acrobatics, they had dancing, they had music, they had it all. There was no reason for them not to win. But, you know, a group has never won America's Got Talent. Which is crazy. Which we didn't realize until we were studying it. And, yeah. you know, so that played a factor into it. And um, it's America's Got Talent. America. And they're letting people from other countries come here to perform, which is awesome. But then yeah. you need to let more than just America vote. vote. And if you don't, then don't let other, then you need to not let them come. Unfortunately, like that's, yeah. I think some people said it was a sympathy card for America's Got Talent. Like they use it, you know, to kind of put stuff out there to get the views. But don't let these groups from other countries come if only America can vote for them and you know they're not going to win. Yeah. Don't get their hopes up. Because then and, it's even sadder for them. Yeah. Very sad and unfortunate. And we really, we don't even know, really wanted them to win it all. You know, but I think the one thing that we wish they had done more, their, their dancing and the, their show was on point. They brought their A game every single time. They bumped it up a notch every single time. Like there was nothing more, I think, from their act that they could have done. But I think the act that won, Cody Lee, won a somewhat from sympathy vote. Yeah. And the Unbeatables had a sympathy card too. You know, they they're from the it. slums. They're that little boy, Vickis, that died. Like, I was like crying when I heard that story. But they only played it once. It never got played every single time. You never really saw that at each clip, at each section. And so that would probably be the only thing that they could have done more. And maybe they didn't know that that was something that plays into effect here. Yeah. I think that was a big thing in the winning of this. Like there's a big sympathy card that got played there and the unbeatables could have played that card, but they yeah. might not still not have won. If there's never been a group winning, but please, we love India. India is a yeah. part of our family. You know, not only because my husband is from India, the kids are half Indian. We are here in the U.S. This is our way to connect. So for you guys who are with us all the time, we thank you. And keep sending us those comments. Like the stuff that we love to do is like this. Be in beatables. You know, we can support them. You know, if we can support them financially, great. Let us know where to sign up. If we can support them by putting more videos out there, they could be a show in Vegas. Like, I hope, if nothing comes of this, I hope that they get something, you know, either their own show in Vegas or their own show in India. I mean, they need to be put on a stage and people need to pay money and we will be first in line. I'm going. Seriously, like they are unbelievable. And there's no reason why. I just hope that this social media and all these things that have come from it, seeing them on America's Got Talent, will open doors for them. I'm just praying that they will open doors for them because they deserve it. So we support India as much as you guys, you know, we do, not only do we do Chandrian, not only do we do the Unbeatables, we do Jumun Kamshmir, we do, you know, Christine Fair, you know, when you guys ask, we, we try, you know, everything because we feel like we want to be as much part of India and we want to know as much about India as you guys. So, yeah. Please keep sending the comments. Please let us know what's important to you. We like doing the music and the dance and stuff too. But, you know, celebrating the festivals is really, you know, a lot of fun and yeah. makes us feel like we're doing something that if we were in India, we would be doing with you. So that we want that connection. And so it hurts us when we get these comments and we get them once in a while. This, but this just really seemed like 
putting us in a category with all the other reaction channels and all these other people that really are doing it to try to make a buck and there's not a care in the world. And so check our homepage. If you send our links out, tell them they're a mixed family. They are from India, you know, your brothers in the US and these kids are half Indian, you know, support them. Make sure they check out our homepage or make sure you tell them. And, you know, we just want to keep this positive. We want to do stuff that makes India proud, that makes you proud, and that makes us proud, you know? Yeah. We get excited for these things, too. Chandrayaan was huge, you know? Yeah. And we were so excited to come home and watch it, you know? And just we want to celebrate the process, you know, and and ho and support. So hopefully good things will come from the Unbeatables, even though they didn't win. We support them all 100%. And we are a little bit late on Modi's birthday, but we're going to do that next. And in not too long, because we've had a lot of support, we have 50,000 subscribers. We're That's getting crazy. up there. It's almost at 40. So we were going to wait to 100,000 subscribers to do our next giveaways. But a lot of you have said you wanted us to give money to charities. So we are going to do that at 50,000 instead of waiting till 100,000 because nobody's claimed their prizes, which is fine. You, we would like to put it, we will find some names, we'll pull some names from a hat and then you can tell us what charity you would like us to donate to and that's what we will do yes. as our giveaway. So instead of prizes, you tell us you know, which foundation you would like us to donate to in your name and that's what we're going to do. So I hope you guys like this. Please keep sharing. Tell your friends. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe some more so we can keep doing this. Yes. And keep sending those wonderful comments. And, um, and then keep those comments civil, please. It's a family channel. You guys, tomorrow. Bye. Bye.